good morning guys welcome to my youtube channel in this video we are going to discuss about the complete information about ias that means internet information services this is part one in this video we are going to include following things what is ias and how to install ias on windows system how to add essential application pool to ias what is application pool and all details how to host a website in IS, how to publish a website from your Visual Studio to IS, and then the difference between a low class website and a customized website. Before that, don't forget to subscribe our channel and watch till the end. So let's start. First of all, let's consider how to install IS on your Windows system. For that, open control panel. Now go to programs and features. Here you can see on the new window, on the left side corner, you can see turn Windows switches on and off. Click on that. Yes, here you have to select Internet Information Services. Now click the OK button. This will install IAS on your system. Please wait a moment, it will take little time. Yeah, now you can see the IAS is completely installed, applied changes, you can close the window. Now browsing back IAS, you need to type INETMGR on your search panel. You can see on search result IAS is appearing. Click on that. This is the main window of IAS. Here on the left hand side, you can see there is a connection panel. All kind of websites and applications pool will be listed here. On the middle section, you can see this is the features section or content view section. Here, corresponding to each website or action pool, their features or functions will be listed. And on the right hand side, you can see the action panel. For the features section, all the actions will be available in the action panel. So after installing IAS, the main step that we need to do is installing essential application pool for the websites. So go to the application pool list. Here you can see only one application pool is available that is default application pool. We need to install more application pool from the system. For that open control panel. On the left hand side turn windows switches on or off. Click on that. In the new window you have to select internet information services. Expand that. Now expand world wide web services. Here go to the node application development features. Select all of them from the list because you need all of them for your development. Yeah, now click OK button. This will install all features that is needed for the application pool from the IS. Now go back to IS main window. Here you can see on the application pool list, the essential application pools are listed. So this was the second important step that we need to follow on IS. Now let's consider what is application pool. IS contains so many web applications. Now for each web applications, there should be a configuration available. We can isolate the configuration for each website by using application pool. Application pool contains one or more application that allows us to configure a level of isolation between these web applications. Now for creating an application pool, go to IS, right click on the application pools list select add application pool first of all you have to give a name for this application pool give it as first application pool yeah now second is you need to select the clr version it is better to select 4.0 clr version and then from the manage pipeline mode you have to select integrated this much of step will create an application pool for your website next in this video we are going to explain how to host a website on is for that open is Go to the site notes. Yes, now click add website. On the new window, you have to select first of all your site name. Here I am giving first site. Next is we have to give the application pool. From the list of application pool, I am selecting ASP.NET 4.5. Now we have to give a path where this website should be published. I am giving in sales C. Go to the folder inetpub and then www root. Insert that create a folder for this website. Select that folder. Yes, that's all. This is the folder for this website. Now we have to assign an IP address and a port number. You can select whether you need HTTP or HTTPS. After that, click OK button. This much of steps will create a website on IAS for you. 
Now for accessing this website is very simple. Right click on the website and click on the browse button. Your website will be open on a new browser. Here you can see you got the error saying directory browsing error. For resolve this error, go back to IS, go to your website, on the features view select directory browsing and just enable it. That's all. Now go back to your IS and browse your website back. Yeah, you can see your website is up and running. First of all, open your solution on Visual Studio. Now right click on the solution, click publish. This will open a new window where you have to select folder where you need to publish your files. After that, click on the advanced settings. Here you need to select whether you need to delete all the files from the destination folder before publishing and then click publish button. That's all. This will publish your solution to a folder on the desktop. Now next step is copy this folder to IS. For that open IS, go to your website, right click on that, click explore button. Yeah, this will open the folder. Here you have to copy your already published files to this folder. Now go back to IS, click on your website and then browse your website. All done. Your website is ready, up and running. Now what's the difference between a customized website and a localhost website? As you can see, under sites node, there is an option for default website inside which we can also create websites. Here those websites that comes under default website will be given with some default settings and those websites will not be having any specified IP address. It will be accessed using localhost slash website name. But the importance of a customized website is that it should have a specific IP address and a port number. It will be given with its own specific settings which we can ensure more safety and priority for the customized websites. That's the importance of customized website over low closed websites. So guys that's all in this video. If you like the video press the like button and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you.